Hi everybody! Today we're going to show you how we made our Zentangle shoes! Last year, I made these Zentangle shoes, and Kimberly made her Zentangle shoes. Here's the pictures of our shoes from last year. This year, we wanted to try something different. For one, we chose purple shoes. <laughs> we thought that we would make them more colorful. Last year, I made them more of an autumn theme. This year, I wanted to make them more of a summer theme. And I made mine as a pirate and ocean theme because I love pirates. And with my shoe, I went with a little bit of a different approach with mine. I actually did like almost like portraits on all of my shoe. Um, but I still added some of that Zentangle feel to them. Um, I did like how my other shoes turned out with all of the different patterns and such on it. But I just wanted to try a different approach to it and see what you guys think. I kind of like sticking with the Zentangles more because to me it's really simple and it's very relaxing to me to make Zentangles. So that's why I went with more of the Zentangle look. As you can see, our shoes represent our personalities perfectly. We used fabric markers for this project. Last year we used Sharpie markers and they turned out good, but we wanted the colors on these shoes to last a long time. We figured that fabric markers would work the best. This is a site that I use mostly when I need an idea, so I'm going to list this down below so that you can get to that really easy. Once I have an idea of the Zentangle I want to use, I draw them onto a small section of my shoe. When I get my designs drawn, I lightly color shadows to give the design steps. For the top sections of our shoes, we made sure to pick designs that would stand out the most. It is always fun to pick a design that would make you smile when you looked at your shoes. <laughs> Kimberly made a pirate ship and a beach. I made a sunflower and a butterfly. Around the shoelace holes I drew flowers and then I colored them and then added some details. So we always drew out our base design before we added the colors and details. This is what it looks like before we color it. And this is what it looks like after. Use your imagination to let your personality shine through your designs. You can make your designs as simple or as complicated as you desire. We can make any pair of shoes into a work of art. You will enjoy wearing shoes that you designed on your own. We encourage you to give it a try. Whenever you feel like you are running out of ideas, browse through photos that you like and the Tangle designs to stimulate your imagination. Remember to keep it fun and be relaxed about it. Enjoy the process. Follow your heart and you will be amazed at the results. Notice how I drew the Tangles within my main designs. This was a great project and we had so much fun. Now it is time to protect our shoes from dirt and stains. This is called Never Wet by Rust-Oleum. And it's a two-step process. The first step goes like this. Okay, the first step is to spray your shoes and then wait 30 minutes. You gotta shake the can really well and then you spray, I'm going to spray a light coat. You're supposed to hold it between 6 and 12 inches away. And the second step goes like this. This is step two. And this one I'm giving a very light coat because on my practice pair, 
I put a heavier coat and it did leave like a little film so this one I'm gonna give a light coat and I know it's still gonna work we did this process again the next day after our shoes were dry to give our shoes two coats I really wanted to try something new because I know that the other stuff sometimes works and sometimes doesn't after reading reviews of the other stuff versus this stuff we decided to go with this stuff and it's a little bit more expensive than the other stuff but it seems like it's going to be much better at protecting my shoes. Mm -hmm. It says on the back that it repels the water. And I do know it repels the water. And we're going to show you that right now. All right. We're going to test it. Here we go. Look. It works. Look. It does work. Look at it. See how it beads up on top of it? <laughs> that is so cool. It works! <laughs> That's all I want is something to just keep my shoes looking nice. We wanted protection at its best quality and we really think that this product would protect our shoes the best. <laughs> if you have any questions about how to do Zen Tangles, I'm going to leave a link down below to a previous video that I did on how to do Zen Tangles. I love Zen Tangles and you will too. <laughs> We, we hope you enjoyed watching us make our Zentangle shoes. We'd love to hear from you if you give this a try. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye! I had a lollipop. <laughs> Lollipops! <laughs> Hold your shoes up. Run, Forrest, run! You guys ever do that? No. <laughs> Take your shirt and... <laughs> we can make our kids do that if they forget to brush their teeth. <laughs> I used to do. <laughs> I know.